we've just hit practical completion on the construction of the building and now we're into the phase where we accelerate the infrastructure, installing equipment and starting the commissioning process. Uh, it's been a fantastic effort by all of the team involved, uh, having gone from design uh, to practical completion in just over two years. It's, it's a great part of the project, a real milestone. We're up and close and personal now with all this great machinery and state-of-the-art equipment. The base building has just reached practical completion, which means the building is fit for purpose for its, for its use. Continuation of the installation and commissioning of the specialist forging equipment will happen for a, a number of months. Uh, so it's accelerating very quickly. Boots on the ground, we've got people employed here now and as we bring more people into the project, uh, we even accelerate quicker. Uh, it's been a remarkable timeline to achieve what we have uh, in a little over two years, uh, particularly given the impacts of COVID and all of the issues we've faced in terms of supply chains. It's a real credit to the team locally to have delivered this uh, on time and in budget. We're currently at 18, so by the end of this year, we'll be up around 32, 33, and these are operational roles. A one shift operation, so we'll be looking at about 40 people. For a two shift operation, we'll be about 90 people on the floor. And working with Rheinmetall is a great partner in building Australia's sovereign capacity. This is going to be part of the mechanism that defends our nation. And therefore, we all get a sense of, of purpose and a sense of pride out of the work that's been done here today. Because Australia has only one objective, I believe, our number one objective, is to become as strong as possible as quickly as possible in all facets. But of course, in our sovereign de defence capacity, it's uh, obviously absolutely explicit. So this factory is important for the Australian community and for Australia as a whole because it it gives us the ability to manufacture our own ammunition of this large scale. Oh, this, this project is, is instrumental, I think, in the resurgence of Maribyrnong. There's a, there's a skill base here that suits this project very well. Uh, it's the first of its kind here in Australia, uh, and we're really looking to become a munitions forging leader on the world stage. This facility is also flexible to produce um, other products, uh, and we'll continue to do that throughout its life. Yeah, look, it's been great. It's been, we've had our challenges through COVID, uh, but working with their German counterparts and, and really developing the technical detail for this facility has been excellent.